My name is Yun Tian Chen. I come from DT of Tonic. Today I will talk about our recent work on single photon absorption in one dimensional waveguide. Uh, this work is a collaboration between DT of Tonic and AMOF Institute. Apart from myself, I also want to introduce my colleagues, um, Matai Oops, also from DT of Tonic, famous counseling from AMOF, Jesper Mog from DT of Tonic. Our work is motivated by interfacing a flying photonic qubit onto an an atomic qubit. Very originally, there was a point out that by using a perfectly inverting pass, you can accept the atom with 100 probability. But you need to split the inside the single photon wave packet into two parts and illuminate the two parts onto the atom simultaneously and also with that phase shift. The question is, can we make the things easier? The answer is yes. Um, we use uh, this one-dimensional system um, and simply using a Gaussian wave packet uh, from one side. We study the dynamics according to this formula. Our formula is similar to Wiskopf weakness theory, but we're using a different initial condition. At the beginning, the atom is on a ground state. Um, um, we have a, a, a Gaussian input single photon wave packet, as shown here. Um, once you solve the first order differential equation, you got C0E, you can immediately construct the photonic state. We also want to point out that uh, this uh, with wave formula is the coupling strength act as a function of decay rate and also spontaneous emission beta factor. The beta zero here is the fraction of the spontaneous emission coupled to, uh, coupled to the inside the channel from the emitter. So for this infinite long uh, mechanical nanoware, uh, the maximum uh, beta zero is 50%. This slide shows the animation of the dynamics. Um, the first part uh, is the, the shows the atomic oxidation as a function of time. The second part shows uh, the special variation of the interactive wave packets. At the beginning, the, the single photon wave packet is launched from the left, propagating towards the emitter. The emitter will get excited and give re-emission into two channels, the forward channel and also the backward channel. In the end, the emitter will relax to the ground state and uh, the inside single photon wave packet is split into two parts, the transmitted part and also the reflected part. However, in this case, the atomic oxidation is only 40%. The reason is the following. The re-emission from the emitter has two emission channels, namely the forward one and also the backward one. In order to enhance atomic oxidation, we have to suppress uh, the forward channel. To do that, we, aid, uh, we propose uh, a terminal nanoware to aid this uh, single photon absorption. By selecting the position of the emitter, we found that 91% of the emission is captured by the left-hand propagating mode. Uh, due to this uh, large as, uh, spontaneous emission beta factor, we expect that uh, the atomic oxidation will, enhan will be enhanced significantly, and which is confirmed in this fallout. Um, uh, it shows uh, the atomic oxidation as a function of time. The maximum value here is 72%. So in the end, I hope you are convinced that by using, um, by engineering the photonic environment, you can gain significant improvement on the atomic oxidation. Namely, you need to make this spontaneous emission beta factor as large as possible. Thank you.